One of the biggest opportunities to grow your influence on social media right now is posting short form vertical videos, whether that's Instagram reels, TikToks, or even YouTube shorts. But what if you could turn your regular videos like this into vertical videos? In this video, I'll show you how you can do that so that you could start posting vertical videos and be sure to stick around to the end of the video because I'll show you how to auto caption it so you don't have to caption the videos all by yourself and you can have captions on your video just like you see on this one. Let's go. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omots Corey with Think Media and I'll be using Premiere Pro to demonstrate this, but I'll be teaching it principle-based. So no matter what software you're using, you can implement these strategies, but let's just jump into the software itself. So here I am in Premiere Pro and I've got our uh, video podcast in my timeline. This is the Think Media podcast, which if you are not subscribed to it, wherever you watch or listen to podcasts, you need to be if you're trying to grow your YouTube channel. But uh, I've picked out a point in the podcast that I'd like to turn into a vertical video. So that's this point right here. Most editing softwares, you can splice or cut your video. And so I would ask you to just do that where you want to start your vertical video. So I'm gonna do that right here and hit uh, the cut key that I have designed and just make a splice. And I did pre-mark these just to save time in the video. This would be the end of that vertical video clip. So I'm just gonna splice at the end of it. And so essentially I wanna turn this portion into a vertical video. The next thing I'm gonna do is create a new sequence. This sequence is 1920 by 1080. I wanna flip that around. And so I'm gonna go right into file and create a new sequence, depending on whatever software you're using, just create a new timeline or sequence. And in this case, I'm going to select a 1080 24, but go into settings. If you're shooting a 30 frames per second video uh, that you're re-editing, then you wanna make sure you select that. But I'm gonna select 24, go into settings, and I'm actually gonna flip these two numbers around. So I'm gonna put 1080 over here, and then I'm gonna put 1920 over here. Uh, now I'm gonna hit, um, and I can, you know, we can call it something, we can call it vertical. And if you wanna save time in your future, just create a preset and call it vertical preset. And then it'll create a preset so that you can always select it in the future and never have to make it again. You're welcome. I'm, I'm here to save time, guys. Um, but I'm just gonna hop over here and I'm gonna select this clip. You can copy or you can cut it. I'll just cut it for so visual. Uh, and then I'm gonna paste this in here. So here we have the video in vertical form. Now, what's cool about Premiere particularly is I can right click this, select scene edit detection and then add a cut at each detected point. So if you have a video that's already rendered out and you just wanna you know, cut those clips uh, in individual pieces, this is a very smart thing to do because I need to resize this clip to fit the frame. So uh, we have two, two angles here, as you can see, but it made a cut where I needed it to make it. So I'm gonna just click on this and then uh, head over to controls and depending on whatever software you're using, just gonna wanna, I wanna frame this out so it, it fills the frame. Um, and so that looks a lot better. And then I'm gonna do the same thing to this clip. And essentially, now, now we have the clip that is now formatted to uh, YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, or even TikToks. But let's say you don't wanna show so much of somebody's face because the shot's very tight. Um, let's just say like this, you can actually zoom it out a little bit, create some space. You do wanna fill the frame as much as you can. But one cool trick that I like to do is to actually duplicate this uh, file and put one on top of it. And then the one underneath, I actually like to scale it up, uh, put put kind of like the graphic in the back and go to effects and just add like a blurriness to that video clip. So I'm just gonna grab this blurry effect, drag it on the clip and increase that blurry effect. So now it's a little bit more, you know, uh, clean as far as how it fills the frame. But that's it. You can do that if you want. You can also make this, you know, put a white box behind the person or a black box. It just, I just found that it's best if you can fill the frame as much as possible. But for the simplicity of this tutorial, I'm just going to fill the frame with Sean and essentially call it good. And so now you just want to make sure you render out the clip properly, which I want to show you how to do that, but I want to add captions. But if you're already getting value, let me know by hitting that like button. And again, Please subscribe to the Think Media Podcast if you wanna learn how to grow your YouTube channel or build a business around it. Um, but let's add captions to this clip. First, I'm gonna uh, add an in and out point to this clip. I'm gonna hit I at the beginning and O at the end and just add that in and out point. I'm then gonna pull up my text toolbox. So I'm gonna hit window and then the drop is gonna open and I'm gonna hit text. 
And then here we have this captions dialog, uh, which I can just hit transcribe sequence and then just make sure it does it from the in and out point only. I'm gonna hit transcribe and then Adobe's gonna do its thing. Now I know I said it, you can do this with any software, but Adobe is kind of just dope for doing this at least. Um, and then once it generates kind of uh, the text, I'm just, just gonna hit create captions. You can overview it or you can uh, edit it later, but for speed, I'm just gonna create, create captions. Make sure all this is as good to go. I'm, maybe I'll just make the text 40. Uh, lines is double is okay and I'm just gonna hit create and Adobe is gonna create captions using their um, their uh, AI or artificial intelligence and most platforms like TikTok and Instagram anyway you can hit captions as a you know feature when you swipe up and add captions to it automatically but this is just a cool way to add your own branding so you can see the captions is at the bottom but what's so cool is I can edit this caption make it look a certain way so I'm just gonna do um, a, a font that we like to use Helvetica uh, I'm going to click and expand it a little bit wider because I want it to go on two lines, not three lines. Then I'm just going to add a background to it, just a, like a nice little background. So I'm going to click on background, crank up that opacity, change the color to back black so it's legible, and even maybe make it a little bit uh, bigger so you can see it. And then let's put this, I'm going to put it in the middle of the screen and drag it down just a little bit so it's legible, uh, maybe like three fourths of the screen. And if, if you like how this looks, literally all you have to do is hit create style, uh, call it, you know, think or whatever you want to call it. And, and now it just affected all of them and they're all consistent. And I would just encourage you to make sure you watch it over and you can make any changes to any text by just like literally double clicking and changing the text as needed. But it's literally going to the voice of Sean which is awesome so that's kind of how you do that but now if we're ready to export this thing just want to make sure we export it with the right settings and we're going to hit export on the top of the screen uh, one way to really maximize the quality of it is number one you can hit high quality 1080 uh, but if i do that it might render out the widescreen version so at least if you're in premiere you just want to make sure you're matching the source so now it's going to render just a vertical video. And if you ever want to just like increase the crispiness of your video render, you just want to increase your bit rate, which I find 20 to 40 is great. Uh, if you really, you know, want, if you really cared, 40 is a, a safe bet, uh, but 20 looks good as well. Uh, specifically, if you're also shooting 4K content and then rendering out a vertical video that's 1080, uh, then it's going to look really good. And so once you have that dialed, then make sure you want to save it in a perfect place and save it uh, with the right name. And you can type it in YouTube full time. And then I just hit export. It's going to go into the desk desktop. And then once it's exported, I can just airdrop it to my phone. If you have a Windows or an Android, I'm so sorry. Just kidding. You can just upload it to Dropbox or a Google Drive, download it, and then upload it to whatever platform you'd like to. But that's how you turn a horizontal or regular video into a vertical video. And if you haven't already hit that like button, let me know that you got value by doing so. And if you want to check out another tutorial from us here at Think Media, just click or tap the screen. If you want to tap into our Think Media podcast, you can click or tap the screen as well. Can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.